Welcome back to What Are T Noobs with General Disturbance. This is the 105 Lift H 18B2, the French Jet 5 Premium SPG that we know as Fifi La Pew Pew, but you might know it's a Lefty or a Leaf Blower. This one is on the north spawn of Prokhorovka under the command of Citroen 01. Game on! 105mm light fuel howitzer, capable of doing 410 alpha. Whoa. Let's get the uh, cursor over the mark. Yes, 410 alpha, 53mm pen, and he's carrying five heat rounds just in case. 350 alpha off those. Okay, looking for a target. He's found one. Oh no, that's his teammate. That's his platoon mate. Don't target him! He's doing a quick run up to the centre. Oh! That was unfortunate, that! <laughs> he, he actually fired and then looked away just as he fired, so we didn't see it. Oh my god! He just got his first kill! He took out the T28! Incredible shot! Trying to go for the pants up in here. Direct hit, 74. Okay, it's the opposite number for the light tank. A 20 rounds out. Close, but no moniker. You have to be American to understand that one. <laughs> well, at least have an appreciation of who Monica Lewinsky is. Okay, T6 mediums decide to go into the village. Although this is not a encounter game. So I think he's trying to shoot up onto our teammates as they go up the hill. Pants and pump here again. That's a good hit. Right into the side of the rear. I'd love to see where that actually did hit, but I think it went straight through the side armor. Rounds out, T6. Oh, just moved in time to avoid that shot. Line him up, rounds out, looks good. Yes! 166. He's now one shot. But uh, yeah, it looks like we're now going to fire at this leopard right up on top of the hill. Now, what happened there? He fired one in at the leopard, but the leopard moved immediately afterwards. Fires one in the path of the leopard. Oh, just a little late, but if he stops in that area, we should be able to get a hit on him. Now, he's changed position get a bit closer to the enemy because the the thing about the Fifi is it doesn't fire the entire range of the battlefield okay enemy a20 dead a20 that's his third kill of the game and a leopard like that one now I think you may have noticed at the start of the battle that Citroen 01 has two marks left in front of the barrel and he's desperately trying to work his way up to get the third mark very difficult to get the third mark on this RT, mainly because it is so difficult because so many people have them and they play them rather well. Okay, enemy P2640, rounds out, looks good. It's a hit, 134, he's gone. There are five tanks up on the enemy at the moment. This is a slaughter and it seems that Citroen 01 is taking a big part in that. Okay, lucky Luke Sober, or Lucas Luke Sober, is actually going right deep into the enemy territory and now Citroen 01 has got 20% of the enemy hit pull. That was close. The A20 is getting some damage. We're going for the AMX. 105. Yep, that's a kill. That's an Amorak. Yeah, blew him up completely. And now we've got the other RT, which is an M41 HMC. Then the second fires the round in and no, we didn't get him. Changing position. And it looks like the enemy M41 HMC and the M5A1 Stuart have both been killed. The only enemy we've got left are these guys up on the hill. They've been kind of abandoned by their team. There's also an enemy RT. Oh! We just took out the leopard! Incredible! Rounds out the stug. Oh, that's a hit. 101. Keep going. He's going back to the Stork, but we're chasing the Hetzer. Uh, no, I wouldn't. There's the uh, enemy. It's a Panzer Sebs Fitter. Rounds out. Yes! 
Yes! <laughs> Seven kills! He's having a fantastic game. Rams out the stug. Oh, he dies just before the shell arrives. That would have been a Radley's. What a game. Well, here's the end of battle stats for the first game. Yes, this is a two-parter. He managed to get a first-class tanker in that game, such as 0-1, which is pretty good considering the tier. He also managed to get a bruiser medal for getting at least five critical hits, and he got a demolition expert. In fact, he blew up more than one tank with a direct hit. And I think the demolition expert may have been, well, it was definitely the AMX 105 AM because he blew that one apart. But I think he might have actually got an Amorak from one of the others as well. But anyway, he also picked up the high counter because he dealt the most damage in the game overall. At least 20% of the enemy hit pull. And he got a top gun for getting at least six kills. But he was one short of actually getting a Radley Waters. So close, but so far. The T2080 hit at the beginning of the uh, beginning of the video i think he actually penned that guy twice he penned the amx 105 am also the vk 1602 leopard he blew that guy apart the uh, panzer seps file of he penned him as well the m10 rbfm very thin armor and also the panzer kampfwagen from fear uh, i think that one yes as i said went through the side armor at the rear of the vehicle which is fairly thin, so at least less than 53 millimeters. So let's have a look at the team score. Oh, we easily got the high caliber. Look at this, 2,643 went to Citroen 01. The next highest score in the game was the T67 on the enemy team with 1,007, a fraction, less than half the amount that Citroen 01 managed to get. And the next highest score after that was the Matilda, who almost, not quite, slightly more than a quarter of the damage that Citroen 01 managed to get was 770. When it came to kills, he had the highest number with seven. The enemy team only managed one kill in the entire game. Yeah, they only got one. It would have been a 15-0 wipeout, but uh, yeah, they did get a kill. Three kills went to the Hetz on our team and two kills went to the SU-5 as well. But most of the work was done by Citroen 01. And if only his teammates had actually seen that he was on seven kills, they might have left that Stug for the last shot. And that would have given him the Radley Waters. That would have been rather nice. When it came to base XP, yes, he's got the top on that one. So top in all three columns. 1,067 went to Citroen 01. 1,066. Just one, one uh, XP point less for the A20, which is a tier four. So obviously Luca Lukasova, who's his uh, platoon mate in that one, actually did an incredibly well in that battle. And I think he was getting a lot of spotting and that's how Citroen 01 was actually doing so well. Let's have a look at detail. 24 shots fired, 12 direct hits on the enemy, 7 penetration, 10 splash. So 7 penetrations. I did highlight those to you when I went through them, but it's a lot of pens for this sort of vehicle. 2,643 hit points of damage, all of it done at more than 300 meters. He hit 11 of the enemy, killed 7, and earned 35,608 credits from the game. And after respive ammunition consumables, took away a profit of 35,681. 1067 on the premium account, 640 for this being a premium vehicle, 240 for playing in platoon, and 2481 experience points altogether. I didn't cover Lucasova actually in, in the game. Uh, let's put his details up. You can see he did 3,772 hit points of spotting assist in that game, as well as getting 271 damage. He was buzzing around at high speed, trying to spot the enemy for his teammate, and he was getting shot at. He was distracting them, but he get a, got a huge amount of spotting assist, considering this was, I think it was a tier 5 game with tier um, 4 tanks in it. So pretty good going for Luka, Lukasova. Anyway, that was the first battle. Um... What I'm going to do now is, rather unusually, I'm actually going to go into our new feature and actually show you the um, the thickness of the armour and the modules. So we'll go into that right away before we go to the next battle. Okay, here's the module. Um, here's the, sorry, here's the armour thickness one first. And I think the first thing that becomes obvious straight away is that this is based on the Char B1. And you can see the hull is very thick armour. Yep. 
This is the mistake that so many people make because when they auto aim onto this vehicle for the center mass, they aim around about here in the center of the vehicle where the armor is about 111 millimeters thick. In fact, it's so thick that the shells just won't penetrate. And that's why they tend to ram into it. But of course, because it's quite heavy, if they ram into this thing, they actually come a cropper because it's like ramming a heavy tank with a light tank. You, you're just bugs on a windshield. The easiest place to pen this vehicle is the gun shield right at the top. And it's very, very thin there. Um, any shot on the gun shield is more than likely going to go straight through. And that's how you kill the Fifi. Uh, either that or you land a shell on top of that big engine deck there, which is fairly thin as well. Okay, so that's the armor. Let's have a look at the modules. Well, I think again, you can see with the modules, there's the driver up front. He's got a, a big viewport that you can actually look through. Uh, there's a huge ammo rack directly behind the driver. Uh, it's down here and it's in this uh, compartment here. There is armor, I believe, in between the driver and the ammo rack. But this huge area down below is the ammo rack for the shells. Um, and there's a ready rack right along the side. So if you can aim for the center mass directly underneath the gun, that's or the gun shield at the back of the gun shield on the vehicle, that is where the ammo rack is located. And it is on both sides. So either side will actually do to pen. You've got a much better chance of penetrating on this side because there's a huge big radiator around about here. And that is very thin armor at that point. So that will go through. The gunner is on the, uh, as you're looking at it, it's on the right hand side, but his gun is actually, his chair is turned towards the actual um, gun. Uh, the loader is sitting right at the back of the gun, the back of the breech, uh, which must be a bit uncomfortable for him, but I suppose he's actually moving about. He's not sitting down and he's taking the rounds out of the ready rack, it feeding them into the barrel and then the gunner's adjusting the gun accordingly. The commander is on the other side of the gun and his radio is actually directly above his rear. So uh, yes, I mean, most people don't even bother to aim for the radio, but uh, if you're aiming for the gun shield, the shell will more than likely go straight through. You can take out his commander. If you shoot to the left, if you t shoot to the right, you'll actually take out his um, uh, gunner. And if you shoot low and you can pen this area, then you'll either get the Amorak or just try and aim for the left hand side of the vehicle and take out that Amorak uh, or the right hand side of the vehicle, sorry, and take out that Amorak. There's the engine. The fuel tank is on this side. Remember, that's the side that's got that uh, ventilation vent, uh, which is easy to pen. But the fuel tank's there. The engine is at the back, uh, as you'd expect in a heavy tank and the transmission is right behind the actual engine but uh, yes we won't uh, we don't need to aim for the transmission just aim for the engine block and take the engine out so that's where all the parts are on the modules are on the fifi let's have a look at the second battle in the second battle citron 01 is now on the south spawn of redshire Game on! Now, I did say um, in the other, in the uh, module bit, that there was a radiator on this side of the vehicle. In fact, actually, it's the door that's on this side of the vehicle. On the opposite side is the radiator, and there you can see it. And obviously, there is a ammo rack there as well. Okay, he's looking for the enemy, and he's. Aiming towards the top of the hill, and there's normally somebody who goes up to that bush. So he's firing a speculative shot in just to make sure. And yes, there is an enemy tank there. It's a stug by Al G, and he gets a hit for 101. So he's aiming a little way back, waiting for the guy to drive back, and. Oh, he got a kill! So he's got his first kill. First kill of the game for him. A little to the right. I don't think he intended it to go right, but RNG said, I'm sorry. Okay, trying to get this VK. Rounds out. If he keeps up his speed, close, but RNG said no. Dialing in. That looks good. Yep, he got a hit. 149. 
I think he was delaying that one long enough to actually try and get a hit on the engine deck rather than the front of the vehicle or side of the vehicle. Okay, the Skoda up on top of the hill. It's the T24. Fairly thin armour. Nope, didn't get it. It's a tier 6 game with tier 5 tanks in it, so he's bottom tier in this one. And that might help him a lot. Rounds out. Yep, that's a hit. 41. And he's taken out immediately afterwards. Digger Max. Yes, big bangs from them. Ah, he got a kill shot. It went straight through the armor. I saw that and I thought, yep, those things are perfect because very thin armor. You get big bangs if you can send the round through. He must have set off the ammo rack on that. Fires one in. And we can see Luca, Luca Snova. Luca, so <laughs> Luca Nova is in this game as well, his platoon mate. And it looks like he was just involved in that confrontation. Now he's trying to get a shell in, but he wants to get the OI. Didn't get it. Okay, M4A3E8. With a 76mm gun, trying to get a shot. Okay, rounds out. Looks good. It is. 465, he penetrated the engine deck of that E8. And he's very unhappy, that guy. He's changed position. Go for it again. Rounds out. Ah, the kill shot this time. Big hits. That was a pen as well. Now, we were just seeing an M10 RBFM down by the water. But we're now looking towards the, uh, the Zeppelin. Can't see anything, though. Okay, Lucas going in. He's found the M10. Okay, try and get this guy lined him up. Oh, he stopped. He stopped. Rounds out. No, nope. just out. Try it again. He just took a hit from Luca. Rounds out. This should hit. Oh, went long. I felt sure that that was going to hit this time. Rounds out. SU-85 should be able to get this one. Yep. I do apologise if my update came in while I'm doing this. I'm actually recording this way early in the morning. Oh, I'm not sure if he meant to fire that one, but he did. Okay, go for the OI. Yes, he hit the side of the vehicle. 59, try for it again. Yep, that's a nice hit on his front. 53. He's tracked. He's not going anywhere. Oh, he is now. Rounds out. Ah, hit him again for 63. Try and keep going. If you can track him, great. It's about there. Yep, that's a direct hit. I just saw one of the other arsons fire the gorilla. And he's still there. He's still tracked. But we've... Hearing another enemy tank, it's the T-34-85, getting close. That's a direct hit. In fact, I think that was a pen. Try it again. It's firing the heat now. Oh, that's a pen. Definite about that. No problem whatsoever. He, get, he got close and he felt it when that heat round went through. I think the M10 liked that as well. So he's only got three heat rounds left, but he's selected the HE again. Yeah, the M10 saying he'll help. I think if he, he knows that uh, Section 01 is good enough to take out these enemy tanks. Oh, here we go. It's a Leopard. For some reason, my aim is not adjusting. Rounds out the Leopard. Oh, kill shot! Amazingly got that one at distance. Everything seems to be going his way at the moment. Okay.
we've got the M10 spotting for us. So if the OI comes in this direction, we should be able to spot him. It looks like they've turned around and headed north, but no, I'm wrong. It looked like that, but the BDR is still coming on. We're firing HE. Rounds out. That's a kill. And that's his top gun. There's only two enemies left. He's also got 20% of the enemy hit pull, which means he might have the high caliber. Okay, where are you? It's that OI we want to get. He took so much damage. Not just from Citroen Zero One, but also from the Gorilla. Once he's out of the game, it's just that SU-85 left. We've lost um, contact with the Porlac tank and the M4A1 because they're outside radio range. Okay. M10, he's trying to tell him, I'm supporting you. If you're going to spot... Oh, I can see... I can see fire going on in the distance where the SU-85 was last seen. So I, had, I suspect that uh, he's engaging our Paulak and M4A1 at the moment. There was definitely explosions in that direction. Well, the enemy Polak tank, or our Polak tank, rather, just killed the enemy SU-885, which means that the last tank in the game on the enemy team is their OI. And remember, he's badly damaged. The M10's looking for him. He must be down in that corner of the map. They think he's gone to the very back. There he is! Rounds out. Long flight time. Yes! And a solid hit. Then he goes down the next second. So this game is over. And it's a victory. Here's the end of battle stats. And that was the third mark game for Citroen 01 in the 105 left H18B2. The French tier 5 premium SPG that we all play. But it's so difficult to get a third mark on this RC because so many people play it. And he got one. He got an ace tanker as well in that game. Really played well. As on top of that, he got a bruiser medal for getting at least five critical hits. In fact, he managed to get 13. He got a gauze medal for doing more damage than eight times the hit points of his own vehicle. A high caliber for dealing the most damage in the game overall. As well as a top gun for getting at least six kills. If he managed to get those last two, I think, he, yes, he would have got a Radley Waters uh, out of the game. Let's have a look at team score. Top of the table with... 2819 hit points but this game he was a little he was um there was some teammates who were actually closer to him because the t3485m managed to get 2391 and the bdrg1b on the enemy team managed to get 1976 when it came to kills he got the highest amount of those with six five kills went to the t3485m on his own team and four kills went to the oi on the enemy team and when it came to base XP, yeah, he's got that one again. So he's got the top in all three columns. 1,234 went to Citroen 01. 1,126 went to the T3485M. And 880 went to the A20, which was Luca. Luca's over again. Yep, he's scoring good scores. And I think he did a bit of spotting. A huge amount of spotting. 3,651 hit points of spotting assist in that game. Very well played, Luca. Luca's over. Anyway, let's go back to details. 31 shots fired in this game. 17 direct hits. 6 penetrations on the enemy. I think we didn't see them at the start. But yes, he penetrated the Stug 3 Ausrung G. He also got 2 pens into the EC8, as you saw, when he was right up on the hill. He adjusted his position, but he still got hit by the second shell. Penned and taken out of the game. He penned the Dickamax, went straight through him and blew him out of the game right away. And yes, he did pen the T3485M twice with heat rounds. And that made a big difference on him because he was coming in our direction to try and kill Citroen 01. 
He also managed to get 19 splash on the enemy, 2,819 hit points of damage, 2,693 were at more than 300 meters. So yes, that uh, T-3485M, or actually it was a T-3485, was rather close when he was taken out. 10 enemy vehicles damage, 6 killed, 205 hit points of damage assistance. He earned 39,386 credits from the game after ammunition respawn consumables took away 33,275 credits profit. 1,234 XP, 740 for this being a premium vehicle, 278 for playing in platoon, took away 2,869 experience points altogether. We so rarely see a third mark for the Leffy. It is so special. Uh, to see one done and thank you so much for Citroen Zero One sending this in. Uh, it was our pleasure to do the videos and uh, show you all how you can actually mark this RT if you want to and how good it gets once you do do it. You notice how he was actually playing it as well. He was firing at a particular spot, settling the aims, firing at that particular spot, pulling back just a little to see where the actual shell would go, but he was he was getting it on target. And the more you play this RT, the more that the shells tend to go where you aim them. So thank you so much for showing us this so we can all know what we've got to come when we get our third mark. If you enjoyed this video, please give this video a like. Do subscribe to our channel. Leave a little com comment down below because it feeds the algorithm. And thank you for watching.